Nintendo just unloaded a trailer for a brand new DLC track coming to Mario Kart 8, being Yoshi Circuit originally from Mario Kart Double Dash. So you know what that means, it's time to boot up the old analysis machine and see what secrets it can find. Okay, so you probably don't need me to tell you that the track's visuals have been vastly updated with a ton of new details all over the place. And nowhere is this more evident than in the opening shot that provides an overhead view of the course. Now obviously, the entire track is still shaped like Yoshi himself. Here is his eye, the tunnel section serves as his nose, the flower beds are the scales on his back, and the overhang you pass underneath is his saddle. Oh, and the arches you drive under are his outstretched fingers. Now so far, this is nothing new. But check this out. Originally, Yoshi's shoe used to be represented by just a boring rock but now it's been turned into an entire town that borders the starting line, including a dock that finally explains how everyone got to the island. There's even a new lighthouse just outside the town to help all the new boats maneuver around. Now that town is filled to the brim with new details, such as how Mario Motors, which was first seen in Mario Circuit, actually has a location here too. You can see gas pumps and go-karts ready to be serviced. And to celebrate the new location, the shop's trademark tires have been painted to reflect the rainbow of Yoshi colors. That's kinda cool. Oh, and did you catch that the shop's lamps are actually shaped like Yoshi eggs? There's a green one here, and then a black and red one around the corner. And that's not the only Yoshi egg to be found, as another is located above the starting line. And there's even a Yoshi statue on top of that. But where are all these Easter eggs, or I mean Yoshi eggs, coming from? Well, we can see what might be the source, as one of the new shops in town is Yoshi's Egg Market, which we can also see ad banners for throughout the course. And that's not all, as we can see the return of other stores too, like Peach and Daisy, as well as the Fountain Cafe. Now you've probably already noticed all the spectating Yoshis that watch from the sidelines all over the course, which makes sense given the entire course is Yoshi themed. But what if I told you there were a few more Yoshi references that are just a little more hidden? For example, one of the cart bodies being serviced to Mario Motors is actually the Yoshi bike. And then there's this odd looking green building just across the street. Well, the reason it looks so odd is because it's actually shaped like Yoshi's head. The dome here is his nose, and the deck and windows are his eyes, with the awning directly above being his eyelids. And if we take a look at this recently released picture, we can see some red awnings around back that serve as his scales. And check out the weather vane on top. It's not the usual rooster. But you guessed it, it's Yoshi too, complete with extended tongue. And we're not done yet. See that island in the distance? Yep, it's shaped like Yoshi's head too. Here's his nose, eyes, and the scales on his back. Oh, and in case you're wondering about the nearby islands, like the one directly in front of it, yep, they're Yoshi eggs too. There is so much to see around here that it's probably pretty easy to lose yourself inside all of these details. But don't worry if you do, because the town also has a helpful map right by the starting line to help out any confused tourists. And the details even continue outside of town, where you might notice a bunch of bushes filled with berries, just like the ones found in the other retro Yoshi track, Yoshi Valley. And just like then, these are a reference to the berries that Yoshi can eat in games like Super Mario World or Mario Galaxy 2. Alright, and that covers up for most of the cool details, but what about the track itself? Well, the trailer actually provides a nearly complete look at the whole thing, and it's remarkably similar to before, such as the fact that the shortcut across the gap here, just outside of town, returns. And we can see it'll still require a speed boosting item, like a mushroom to get across since Yoshi's using one here. But it's not completely the same, as they did add a waterfall to it, which is a nice touch. In fact, we can see a waterfall has now been added to what seems like every one of Yoshi's fingers, which should liven up the place a little bit. But not everything is identical. Take the S-turns by the flower beds, for example. In the original game, the flower beds are walled off, forcing you to drive around them. But this time, we can see that all three of them have been opened up, now allowing you to boost right through them as a shortcut. Assuming you have a mushroom or star, of course. But you'll have to be careful, as a piranha plant can now be found within each one too, and he'll probably snap at you if you get too close. And speaking of corner cuts, we can see another new one at the base of the S-turns, with only tires blocking the path they can otherwise boost through. Unfortunately, it seems all these corner cuts came at an expense, because from this angle, we should be able to see a tunnel, as in Mario Kart Double Dash, but it's nowhere to be found. Now that tunnel is actually the exit of a pretty cool shortcut that required taking a leap of faith just before the S-turns, and it would drop you off right before the shell. So it's a bit of a bummer that's not back, though it was also missing in the Mario Kart DS remake of the same track, so it's really nothing new. And while we're here, we can see they've now flattened the entire turn by the shell, removing the dip from the original game. At any rate, up next is Yoshi's shell, where you can drive up a slight embankment directly beneath it, just like before, but this time you'll find a new stunt ramp at the end of the embankment. Oh, and while we're here, it's just kinda neat that the shell now serves as an area for spectators to watch from. Now just after the shell is a set of item boxes, but these weren't here originally. Instead, they were considerably further ahead around the corner. Besides them, we can also see item boxes just after the starting line and again near the end of the tunnel, both of which are different locations than in Double Dash. So between that and the fact we don't see any other groups, it seems there may be fewer item boxes here than in the original track. And speaking of missing things, the prom plants that used to be found throughout the track, besides the three new ones in the flower beds that is, are completely missing this time around. 
such as the ones that used to be found just before the finish line. Although it does look like you'll still be able to cut across the final grassy corner here. So yeah, as you can see, the track is actually pretty faithful to the original game, just with a few new corner cuts here and there. And of course, it really ran with the Yoshi-themed experience this time. But there is one notable Yoshi reference missing, the Yoshi-copter, as it's now been replaced with the generic green helicopter. Also, as far as we can tell, the Daisy Cruiser that used to be found in the background also seems to be missing, although we can't see a freighter of some kind will appear in this scene. Okay, we're almost done here, but there's still just a few final details I wanted to point out. For one, the banners in town clearly have Egg Cup written on them, which confirms that this track will be appearing in the Egg Cup Grand Prix instead of the Triforce one. Yeah, it's not really any great surprise, but it's good to know regardless. But oddly, based on the placeholder icons of Mario Kart 8, the Egg Cup is located in the new track section, while the Triforce Cup, which presumably has the new Zelda track, is located in the retro one. Could this simply mean that the DLC doesn't play by the same rules as the other cups? Or will their locations be swapped in the final game? If the latter, then we might also expect the previously announced Warriors Goldmine to appear in this cup as well, which would leave room for two more retro tracks that have yet to be announced. And speaking of which, this is actually the first time that a Mario Kart track has appeared as a retro track twice, breaking the long-standing rule of no repeats. So this could open the floodgates for other previously remade tracks to appear in the future. Also, the trailer showcases the fourth and final cart body that comes in pack 1 of the DLC. A Jeep. And not just that, but it's one theme to the Tanuki suit as well. What, with the black and orange striped spare tire, as well as a Super Leaf icon on the back. Even the front is reminiscent of a Tanuki, or a raccoon, with his goggle-like eyes and nose just below. Alright, and that's everything we could dig up on Yoshi's Circuit and Mario Kart 8. But as always, let us know if we missed anything by posting in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and make sure to stay tuned to GameExplained.com for more on Mario Kart 8 and other things gaming too.